Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our look at the modal cycles and this is uh, the onslaught charm cycle. This is also very budget, so that's kind of nice. Please hit like and subscribe. It makes such a big difference and uh, hitting like, I always do it to make sure I don't watch the video twice, but I should probably encourage people to watch my videos more than once, but oh well. What are we talking about? So these are all budget, 50 cents or less moto spells. Um, this is the complete onslaught cycle. So we're looking at all five in all five colors. Again, these are monocolored charms. So they're, you know, the monocolors. Uh, white, blue, red, green, black. I can barely remember that right now. These are unusual because they often care about creature types. In the right circumstance, they can be very good, but they may not often be that useful. So this is a weird one for um, modal spells in general. I don't know of any others where they keep bringing up creature types. Um, especially some of them are like Cleric, I think is a less common creature type. So it's kind of odd. I guess in that set they probably had a lot, but anyway. I never played Onslaught, so I don't know. Number five, <clears throat> Fever Charm. Okay, so for one red, a red one, um, target creature gains haste, eh. Target creature gets plus two damage, maybe useful. Fever Charm deals three damage to target wizard. So this could be removal for a wizard. Wizards are not that uncommon. So like if you're playing a commander game and there's three other players, one of the other players having a wizard, I think, is not unlikely, and if, this will probably be removal for that wizard, so it could be useful, but it is a gamble, still. Also, yeah, um, granting haste to only one creature, I think the damage option is the best one there. Um, basically, you know, your attack's getting through, and then all of a sudden you're like, okay, plus two damage on that, and if it's got, like, double strike or something, ideally, then you get four out of it then it's actually got some value. Um, seven cents. Again, for maybe commander, if you're doing a commander, like commander damage win con, and you need the extra, like, you throw your double strike equipment or something on it, and then, uh, yeah, extra damage might actually uh, be worthwhile. Anyway, seven cents. Mm. Number four. Piety charm. Okay, for this is a white one. For one white, yeah. Uh, destroy target enchantment or enchant creature. So this has actually been errated. This is a kind of outdated enchant creature. They just mean aura. So destroy target aura. And it's not limited to auras that enchant creatures. It's just any aura. So that's a weird one, but anyway. Um, target soldier gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. So only soldiers. Soldier deck may be worthwhile. Or attacking doesn't cause creatures you control to tap this turn. That's actually pretty good, right? We have a word for that now. It's vigilance, right? Everything has vigilance. Um, especially if you have a soldier deck um, that has white, obviously. This is not a bad set of options, right? You can give a soldier plus two, plus two, everything vigilance, or take out an aura. Um, that's actually getting pretty decent. Um, in the Again, the right deck. If you don't have soldiers in your deck, then don't use this card. Anyway, 36 cents. Number three. Vitality Charm. Okay, this is our one green one. Uh, put a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token into play. That can be useful more for triggering things, right? If you've got a lot of like um, things like Alliance and things like that, where you're, if a creature enters the battlefield, you get all these bonuses or even if another token answers the battlefield, like Chatterfang, I, I should throw this in my Chatterfang maybe. But yeah, so it's good for uh, triggering token effects. Or target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains trample until end of turn. The trample is actually pretty good, right? And again, you can do it at instant speed, so they decide that on blockers, and they think they're all good, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, that creature with really high power that you had blocked, that's got trample now, and it's just going through and giving you a bunch of damage. Um, so that that is a pretty solid option, I think. Or regenerate target beast. 
Okay. Again, if your deck has beasts, it's good. Regenerate. Especially if your commander has the, like, beast subtype, then that's great. Because you're going to have something just like one mana regenerate your commander. So if there's any kind of removal, board wipe, whatever, you just bring it straight back. Um, or I, I think it never really leaves with regenerate, but anyway. Uh, 23 cents. Number two. <clears throat> Misery Charm. So it is our one black. Uh, I think of this very much as an Orzhov thing, but... We'll see why in a second. Destroy target cleric. Okay. Or return target cleric card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, so that's why I said Orzov. Orzov is pretty good with clerics. You can make a very strong, even very budget um, cleric uh, kindred deck. That is Orzov, I think. And returning a cleric, having that recursion on one mana. Um... Is, especially when there's three options here and one of them is putting that cleric back into your hand. This also doesn't care on its like power or CMC or anything, right? It'll just put anything back into your hand as long as it's a cleric. So this is actually pretty good if you have clerics. So yeah, actually my, I should put this in my party deck now that I think of it. Uh, or target player loses two life. Um, so just taking two life off a player, um, that can be good. You probably want some kind of other effect to boost that, but it, again, in a very situational way, it could be good. Anyway, uh, 10 cents. Number one. Trickery charm. Blue is number one again. I think last week I had blue as number one, and I can't remember before that now. I do too many videos to remember, but anyway. I think it's been blue before. Uh, target creature gains flying until end of turn. For one blue, giving something evasion, really not bad, especially, again, if you're doing the, you're, you want commander damage, you're doing commander damage win con, this is something that can just like, kinda let you take out uh, another player. Um, Hopefully you can one-shot them, but anyway, we'll see. Or target creature becomes a uh, creature type of your choice until end of turn. So this could be very useful, again, in the right deck. So it's very, it's kind of a weird one. Um, if you're able to like manipulate creature types, what can you do? You probably could, there's a lot of effects you could use, but um, You'd almost like need the deck set up for that to be very useful, I think. Or look at the top four cards of your library and then put them back in any order. Okay, that is the crazy option right there. Looking at four cards and you're just like, okay, I'm going to put them back however I want. That's just your next like, you know, definitely you're gonna make sure that next card draw you have is great and then maybe the one after and then if you've got scry or anything this is blue so hopefully you have scry you'll know like okay now i want to start moving things get the good cards and then put the bad ones to the bottom and then yeah this sorting and just setting up your turn wise even if you don't have scry getting that one good uh card draw can be very big anyway 26 cents The list. Okay, Fever Charm is seven cents. Piety Charm is 36 cents. Vitality Charm, 23 cents. Misery Charm, 10 cents. I really should put that in my party deck. Trickery Charm, 26 cents. I think almost any deck that can use blue or has blue color identity should have this card in it. It's a uh, one blue to do some pretty good stuff. Anyway, take it easy.